Hey everybody, Pastor Stephen Anderson here from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona with another Trinity moment proving that the Trinity is biblical. Now, one of the proof texts that modalists or oneness Pentecostals will use to teach that Jesus is God the Father, which obviously Jesus is not God the Father, he's the Son of God. He's God the Son, but he's not God the Father. Uh, in John chapter 14, they'll take this verse and try to use it to teach that. Let me read for you their proof text. John 14, 6 reads, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? So they'll take this and say, hey, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father, that means that they're both the same person. That means that Jesus is God the Father. Well, here's the problem with that. Number one, it would contradict a hundred other scriptures in the Bible that make it clear that Jesus is not God the Father and that there are other persons as the other videos in this series have demonstrated. But look at the next verse. You have to read the Bible in context. The next verse says, Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? Now, if Jesus and the Father were the same person, that would have been a perfect place for him to say, well, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Philip, don't you believe that I'm God the Father, and that God the Father is me? But that's not what he said, is it? He said, believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? Look, I've got the Holy Spirit in me, but that doesn't make me the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, you know, that we're in him, but that doesn't make us him, okay? So the fact that Jesus is in the Father and the Father is in him does not make them the same person. In fact, it shows that they're not the same person, okay, for one to be in the other. And then it says, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works sake. Not only that, but later in the exact same chapter, it says in verse 28, you've heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye loved me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. So, if Jesus is the Father, then how could he say, my Father is greater than I? Wouldn't they both be the same? No, the Bible says the Father is greater than the Son, proving that they cannot be the same person. There are three persons that make up one God. That's what the Trinity teaches. Now, what Jesus is saying here when he says, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father, is simply that Jesus Christ is the express image of his person. Jesus Christ, the Bible tells us, is the image of the invisible God. What does it mean to be the image of? It means that you look the same as. Okay, so for example, we have identical twins in our church. And if someone were to ask me, you know, well, what does John look like? Show me John. And I said, well, you know, if you've seen Jesse, you've seen John. Why? Because they look the same. Okay, they're identical twins. And so when the Bible says that Jesus is the express image of his person, it means that if you want to know what God the Father looks like, Jesus looks the same way. Now, obviously, with identical twins, they might have a different hairstyle. They might have different uh, features that are slightly different, even though the DNA is the same. But when it comes to Jesus Christ, he's the express image of the Father's person, meaning that if you've seen Jesus, you've seen the Father. You know, you don't need him to show you the Father. He's in the Father, the Father's in him, and he's the express image of his person. That's what the passage actually teaches. It does not teach that they are one and the same person.